Hey guys, AstroDev here, back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a change character event in Codename Engine. Now, before I start, I first want to thank you all for helping me hit 1000 su subscribers. Uh, it means a lot to me that people find my coding videos informative or even enjoyable. So yeah, here's to at least 3k by the end of next year, because yeah, I'm on that grind. Also, I do want to mention... Although there are two ways to do this event in Codename, I'm going to be doing the more easier and less code heavy version for you guys. But if you want to torture yourself with the other method, uh, most Codename Engine, uh, big Codename Engine mods like Dustin and stuff, do have the um, more code heavy way of doing it. So by all means, go have a look at that. But I'm not doing it that way. So if you're looking for something like that, this isn't the video for you. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on. So the first thing you're going to want to do for our event is go into the chart editor. Uh, once in there, find whatever character you want to switch at the top. And then once you've opened up the sub menu, you can do that by clicking on the, on the drop down and pressing edit. Uh, on the left, you'll see a big green plus button. Click it and then type in your character's name to the song to add them to the song. Uh, make sure to keep the other one on there as well. So yeah, so you have two characters. Now when you go back, you'll notice that the strum in the chart editor now has two icons in it. This means the two characters shown there will share the same notes and position, albeit with a little bit of offset for character 2. However, the position can be changed in a script. I'm not going to go over that because you it's relatively simple. You literally just have to change the X and Y position. Uh, so yeah, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make it so our change character shows at the right time. This can be done by going into your events folder, creating a switch event and hiding them, which I will now explain how to do now. So first of all, go to the path shown on screen, and then once you're in there, right click, make a new text document and rename it something simple, such as changecharacter.json. Then copy that and edit it. And then once you've got two, uh, change one of them to changechar.hx. Next, we'll set up the event parameters in the JSON. So we're going to want three parameters, a strum line, an int, and a string which holds our bool. I would do a normal bool, but for some reason, bools just don't agree with me in codename for some reason. Uh, you can copy my code on screen or make your own. Next, we'll code the actual script itself. So once you're inside the script, we're going to want to hide any additional characters. To do this, we're going to iterate over each strum line and check how many characters are in there, if the strum has more than one character, then it will hide every character aside from the one at the first index. This is the first piece on screen at the moment. Uh, next, we're going to do our event handling. So in an on-event function, we're going to check if the event name is the same as our script name. And if it is, we'll make an array of the parameters. Next, we're going to have to convert the strings from the first two parameters to their proper types so they can be used. So we're going to change the strum line to an int, the character in index to the int, and then we're going to keep our bool in quotation marks as a string. Next, we're going to use these new values to get the correct strum line, the correct character, and set it to either visible or invisible. Uh, as you can see, the code is down below. It's a, it's a really simple piece of code, to be fair. Uh, the only difficult part is uh, casting it. Uh, now to help, obviously to help it make it look less, no less noticeable, we can put a flash event in there too. Uh, also, don't forget to have two change character events in the same beat. Uh, one for the character you want to hide and one for the character you want to come out. And then here's what our event looks like in game. Wow, I gotta say, you kept pace really well there, bud. I knew you had it in you. Just got one question. Do you want to play with me? Now, yeah, well that said, that's everything you need to know for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you want me to cover next. Uh, my plans for future videos at the current moment is I've got a short coming out on how to make animated sprites and codename in less than like 60 seconds. I've got a devlog of my ghost hunting horror game based off the Estes method, so look out for those. Uh, also, the scripts shown in this video will be linked down below and will be available in Funkin' Scripter whenever I get around to releasing that. But with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Astro Dev, out.